Hi guys, right? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be looking at sort analysis and uh, for chemistry practical alternative B 2025. Analysis between NCACO3 and NACL. So one spatula food spoon of, of sodium of sodium chloride. So inside the boiling tube, one spatula spoonful of CaCO3 also inside the boiling tube. That's one ratio one. One ratio one. So we're going to have about 10 ml of uh, distilled water. Make sure you mix thoroughly. In our recording, on our table, we are going to have Fn plus water. Observation. Just check quickly what are you observing. Fn is an insoluble word, an insoluble salt. Right? Or you can use the word dissolve. Okay. Your influence will be what? It's an insoluble salt. All right. Quickly, we might be asked to test the mixture with litmus paper. Of course, we have two types of litmus paper. Both blue and red litmus paper. You can damp it. Test the litmus paper. You can see. There is no reaction with both blue and red litmus paper. So under observation, there is no reaction with both blue. Under your inference, is a neutral sort. Is a neutral sort. All right, you can see. All right, this is an insoluble sort. You can be asked to fit as an insoluble sort. Sodium chloride is soluble. Carbonate is not soluble. So let's quickly filter. Let's filter. So let's filter. Shake thoroughly, then pour. So you wait for a while. You allow the filtrate to go down quickly when you are left with what residue. You can see your observation is a colorless, a colorless uh, filtrate and a white residue. That's all we have. It's an insoluble salt. So let's just wait a, a while for. The solution to be filtered. Right, while we are waiting, we can quickly do some analysis on the filtrate. We are waiting for the residue to, to have enough residue for the experiment. So let's quickly work on the filtrate. So let's ascertain if our filtrate is also acidic or basic. Let's use another litmus paper, a little portion of the filtrate, so that we can have. Our filter tested. So let's check out our reaction to the filter. As you can see, both blue and red zipper, there's no reaction. So it's a neutral solution. A portion of the filter is now plus HNO3. Let's take a portion of the filter. We have our filter. Now let's take a portion of the filter and test with HNO3. You can see it. It's all white precipitate form okay white precipitate form if i precipitate from what is present of course we have a, a chlorine chloride ion present so let's test with hno3 let's add hno3 to the solution of course the precipitate also remain there will be no reaction but on addition of ammonia when you add ammonia what are we expecting we're expecting the solution supposed to dissolve. Okay, let's wait for it. You see this solution dissolving. Let's add more. Let's say excess of ammonia. So that we can see the precipitate. The precipitate dissolving. Let's check it out. Check it out by the time you see, see it's dissolving. Good. So this one showed the presence of what? Of chloride ion. Chloride ion. Presence of chloride ion. You can keep that. It's another format they can ask you to test for chloride ion. They can ask you to start with HN, HNO3 first. Let's start with that. Let's see the reaction. HNO3 followed by AgNO3 followed by ammonia. So let's do that. Just follow me. You see every of the writings on the table. It's HNO3. Can you see there's no reaction? There are no feasible reaction with HNO3, but on adding 
et géométrie. Let's see, we're going to have a white precipitate. Uh -huh. You can see your white precipitate. Can you see it? Can you see your white precipitate? Can you see it? So on adding our ammonia, on adding our ammonia, let's see what kind of reaction we're expecting. Dissolve, the precipitate dissolve with ammonia. Let's add the cess ammonia. The precipitate dissolves. So ammonia dissolve the precipitate. So just check the table. You will see the observation at the same time, the inference. That's the chloro ion coming out from what? From the filtrate. So, sample of residue. I see my residue there. Let's take a sample. Plus sodium hydroxide. A white chalky precipitate. Is what we call white chalky precipitate. In essence, precipitate remains what insoluble. Please check out. Check out. This shows the presence of what of calcium. All right. Let's pick another sample. Testing with ammonia this time around. Ammonia solution. Okay, ammonia solution. Now let's see. With ammonia solution, you are going to be having a white precipitate form too. A white precipitate form. Presence of let's take another portion of the residue. Let's test with H2SO4. Let's see if we have any reaction with H2SO4. Okay, H2SO4. That's in gas, so that's CO2 gas. But that's not that's a CO2 gas being involved. At the same time, you can see a kind of um milky white precipitate but a bricks evaporation gas is evolved okay you are shown that calcium is confirmed but at the same time because of its h2so4 we can see carbon dioxide being involved okay so we can actually test for carbon dioxide from the residue we can use hcl we can use hno3 and we can also use what right hcl which any way the question comes you can go about it another portion of the residue this time around let's use hcl to confirm the presence of CO2. On that day, you can be asked to use HCHNO3 or HSO4. Get your little paper ready. Little paper because we're testing for the gas that will be evolved. Okay, you can put it at the tip of your let's test. You can see it. There's no reaction with the red litmus paper. There's a reaction with blue litmus paper. Turn blue litmus paper what? Red. So it is a pervasive gas that is evolved, colorless gas, odorless, and turn blue transparent, turn lime water, milky. If you test this gas with lime water, to turn it what? Milky. Two more reactions, and uh, we are out of here. So, our reaction with barium chloride, followed by hydrochloric acid again. So, let's have barium chloride, barium chloride, and see what precipitate. So, let's check hydrochloric acid. Now you are testing for CO2. You are testing for CO3 to minus. You can see another CO2 gas being involved. So the big step efficient, you can see there, which is uh, also colorless, odorless, indicate the presence of CO3 to minus. You can see the gas, you can see the gas. Lastly, let's check with phenolphthalein. Let's check the presence with what? Phenolphthalein. Turns phenolphthalein pink, that means it's an alkaline. It does not turn in pink, that means it's a neutral salt. Residue plus phenolphthalein. So it's not alkaline, it's a neutral salt. Use alkaline to turn it towards pink. It's not alkaline, it's a neutral salt. Thank you for watching the video. See you. Bye.